Tonight on Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen, we're going to recap and review Episode 2, Juggling Chainsaws. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hold on, I'm picking up audio somewhere else. I think I figured it out. We're good. We're back. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Survivor with Jay, Jeff, and Colleen. My name is Jay. My name is Colleen. And I'm thanks, Jeff, for pointing out the obvious. <laughs> well, yeah, why do the whisper thing if you're not... Tonight. Yeah. They're either going to vote for the st- keep this tribe strong or who they can trust. <laughs> this is the first ever episode of Survivor. I and think nope. that they picked neither. And there's and there's 41 there's been 41 seasons and you guys don't know what's going on. Oh, well, to be fair, Zach watched it with us and he was like, "So wait, why is there only one group voting people out? Why uh what what are they voting on again?" <laughs> I, but I, I'm I'm with Jack here. Like, okay, if you're whispering, I, oh, he's gonna say so there's like some type of weird thing that's gonna happen. There's gonna like, be a no. twist, yeah. He's stated the the, the obvious. Uh, laryngitis Jeff, row <laughs> episode title. Hey, Mandy. Um, Mandy's here too. Uh, I put Mackenzie Billings. That's Mandy. She doesn't know how to change her daughter's name. Oh, uh, it's a whole thing. Well, hello, Mandy. <laughs> AKA Mackenzie. Amanda. <laughs> um, excited to be here talking Survivor with you fine fellows tonight. Oh, JP. Hey, uh, JP. Never mind. I'm just going to go. Uh, so, everybody, thank you. <laughs> that was a good episode of Survivor, <laughs> Jay, Jack, and Colleen. We'll see you all next time. <laughs> I'm just They're they like huge pepperonis, aren't they? No, I think Xander's nipples are like really well proportioned, I feel. I just think. Are they? Okay. Yeah, I, I thought right. they were very nicely proportioned. So Xander, I did not Don't notice. let JP shame your nipples. I think they look I, I I noticed the same thing, JP. Wow, I didn't it, notice it got his nipples uncom- at all. It, put on a shirt, dude. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. No, I, I listen. If I had a chest like that, I'd let that thing fly. Yeah, yeah, of course you've never all had the that, time. So, and we, neither of you, you never had uh-oh. a chest like that. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Yep, 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 yep. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. Excuse me. <laughs> he has like an eight pack. You've barely had a two pack. You said Throwing chest. <laughs> I, I, I had a. I, I <laughs> hey, I have now, a now I need a man's ear. <laughs> How did I miss the nipples? I totally did not see the nipples. Were you watching the show? Yes, I Are was you, taking uh, notes like a good there's, little podcast. There's, no, there's no way. I mean, it's just I mean, there's a bunch of nipples on the show. Like it's just you know, they're just bare chested people. It's not a big deal. I think we're gonna bigger uh, bigger deal of it than we than it should be. Uh, JP has huge silver dollars. Um. Silver dollar pancakes. Right? <laughs> anyway, at least, um, he, at least he doesn't have shorts that attack him. You know, the, the, Chris they, 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 the cause athletic <laughs> dinner plate. Yeah, they weren't that. They were just normal size I nipples. I, I don't I know. Feel I, like I, I was watching the episode and suddenly had the urge to go play frisbee golf. I don't know. Oh what my god, have we really? Been... <laughs> How have Gosh. we devolved to this point? We spent three minutes talking about this dude's nipples. Enough play, already. Blame JP. Blame JP. I, yeah. To be fair, though, I just am. I'm just kink tankerous about it because I miss them somehow. So I feel left out and don't yeah. want other people to talk well, about it. Because some of us I can't talk appreciate uh, fine human anatomy, and Colleen doesn't apparently. So no, I guess apparently, not. I don't. Yeah, but uh, I'm with you. That's Jack. correct, Cotton. I, this episode for me was why the heck are they keeping one of the worst players I have seen in recent memory. And plus, she's it, she's a lot like was it Debbie the one that just you can't she just they had a plan they tell no, her flat, she's... they tell her flat out okay he has no vote he has no power oh, we got to do uh, 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 well, uh, exactly uh, and it's like uh, you're not listening you're not even listening like she said no he lost a vote like yeah. what are you doing and, and, and the paranoia and, and, gets you but and down the it's day five and but, down the but, down the road. It's only she's going to be even worse. And, all, you know, and this is this is a question I had for you, Jack, was she clearly wasn't trying in the challenge. Maybe no. she's gas, whatever. I don't want to yeah. I don't know her mindset. But clearly when she was back, she was like, I guess it was I kind of maybe contributed us losing. Yeah. Not that big of a deal. It might have been a minute or two. Um, a minute or two. <laughs> but 
to me, I, I think she didn't put a whole for a bit of effort into it. And I think she felt she was safe. Is that as bad as throwing a challenge? Because she's essentially saying, I don't care about winning immunity. I'm going to vote one of these two people out. Yeah, she, I think she, she felt she was safe. Especially when they told her, you know, she was safe. But she just, she quit. Yeah. She quit. I mean, I, I just. And, and that's where I have the problem with it, where. You know, in her in her video things before, she's like she wants to show her kids that you can go out there and do it. I, I'm sorry, I, I feel like you you quit on that challenge. You were okay with losing immunity, and then you didn't think it was a big deal when it was done. And then you're yeah. playing spastically, okay. playing bad strategically, and you're still in the game. And I just think that's know, lame. That's also a strength. Like kudos to her alliance because they wanted to keep her around enough that they went with her plan of voce. I, well, I Nobody else trusted. wanted that that we saw anyway. Because, well, because, because and she did get the slow mo flashback, like you know, like whatever it was, where she like found her strength. It wasn't like the Suri like standing ovation from everybody, like yay! Because it did wasn't it. a Suri thing where we know <laughs> that she struggles with this thing and she's really pushing herself. Like she, like she, she says, she's athletic. She yeah. says she's all these different things. Yeah. And like I said, they probably only went with uh, Voce because to keep her calm and to keep her uh, it's, uh, look, we got to go with her because. Or just Evie. I think this is Evie's play. Yeah. I mean, I, Tiffany's not a part of this. This is Evie's play. And, you know, I understand. I, I understand this from Evie's gameplay perspective. I feel like this is what she's going with. Whether I agree with it or not is not up to me. We'll see if it works. I hope it works for Evie's sake because at least she's playing the game. And making yeah. strategic moves. She's actually playing a smart game. I, I didn't I like. So. I didn't. I didn't like the vote because I. Th- I think that again, like I said, uh, Tiffany's one of those players that you. She's just gonna. You gotta and, have play. You gotta have players that are, are, are at least will listen. And and that's where I think it's it's risky for Evie because she's right. I think Xander trusted her wholly. Like he gave yeah. her all of the information. Yeah. And you're and you and why did you go with Tiffany's move? Well, because I mean, now you've you've basically betrayed Xander and you've kept him on the on the team. Yeah, I don't. It sounds like from like Xander's comment at the end of Tribal when he said that was brutal or whatever, like that he was actually in on it too. So her bringing Xander in on it, being like, "Hey, man, you don't true. have a vote." If she did that, then yeah. Then you know, yeah, because it kind of sounded like she did, and I think that's also pretty good gameplay. Yeah, like she, he has to know he's that. on the bottom. But Fantastic like, management, yeah, because because he made that comment. He was like, mm-hmm. like, whew, like you know, that's over and done with. Yeah, but that's a good call. Um, that's a really good call. Yeah, I, I, but, I did forget that. Yeah, the only the only issue that I had with so I thought that Evie on the secret island or not so secret island <laughs> with Deshaun, you know, that was great gameplay. Like mm-hmm. you know, bringing him in, they're definitely showing us like that she's a good player yeah the only thing is what did she get in return did she get a guarantee of his loyalty did she get no any information or was she just throwing it out there hoping that it will come back like a boomerang she was she she was just saying you know she's trying to show trust right so it was like a boomerang strategy right she's i mean she wasn't giving her you know she wasn't giving it wasn't one of those stupid players that go okay here you can take my reward and then they get voted out the next week she's trying to build she knows Dear her Mr. She, Hans, please she, take my idol. Yeah, XO, she, XO. She knows her tribe is terrible in the challenges. They, they, mm-hmm. they're, they're just god awful. And she's building, you know, relationships, which I yeah. think was smart. Yeah. And and that's where I think, um, yeah, I, I think that's the smarter play because he'll then go next time he goes to tribal, he'll see he'll see that she was right and he got extra vote for it. And didn't cost her anything because she needed the vote. She she needed her vote. Um, and you know, worst case scenario, they don't end up on whatever the post merge tribe is. But that's the hand she was dealt, and I think she played it really well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mandy just texted me a picture of Xander's nipples. <laughs> um, Mandy, you texted the wrong person. Callie, you sent it to me if you could. Sure, I'll forward it to you. You have right no way now. to put this in. Uh, Sherry, I'm for, I literally just sent. Done. Oh, thank you. Uh, Sherry agrees with me. Thank you, Sherry. You are my favorite today. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> Elaine is not here, so you are my new favorite. Uh, send it to my phone. I don't use Facebook Messenger on my computer. Send it to my phone. 
Yeah, but if I send it in Facebook Messenger and then it picks up that you like pictures of dudes' nipples, then you'll always get advertised pictures of dudes' nipples. I, that's fine, I guess. But I, <laughs> if I want to show it on the show right now, or Whammo from Frisbee. Send... Oh, you want to show it on the show? Yeah, it's not like we're not doing a live video show or anything. <laughs> I thought you just want yourself. I can get you know, nipples you, you, anytime. You. All right, there we go. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um. This is this is the type of uh, high level programming that uh, she <laughs> did. Manny literally take a picture on her TV and then send it to us. Here we go. Let's look at it right now. Let's let's see. Let's check with our esteemed panel uh, on on these nipples, on these nips. That's not a good. That's what he was. I that's a normal that size in. nipple. No, well, uh, I'm saying when they came Eliana. back to tribal, they they stood out more. I, I don't he was know. nervous. He was nervous. To try. <laughs> he was in. The, he was in the pool. Listen, Xander, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I think very. We're not, we're not saying. Like, 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 he's got a great. You're body trying to me. shame his nipples, I, I, and I, I say, was just. Re- I was oh my just... goodness! So we were watching with Zachary, and Zachary was. We were like, "Who do you want to go home? We want Tiffany to go home," and uh, which is odd because you know I disliked Boche so much in the preseason, but he ended up being not as horrible. Like in the two episodes maybe give him a good edit because you know he's only in two episodes um and maybe it's my long island bias again where i'm like you're from long island you're automatically an a-hole um that said though uh zachary was like i, I want know. Sandra to go home. yeah i know it's true uh it takes one to know one but zach was like i want xander to go home and zach and jay was like why his real name is alexander and zachary just looked at jay like yeah duh <laughs> <laughs> um and uh oh where oh yeah here we go Ro has a, oh, a great is point. here thank you Ro, for backing me up on this and we would do this to a woman hmm. not live well look at her yeah, nipples <laughs> no i'm just saying critique the size of a woman well no because they would they would they would Blur it out. Uh, Elena, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, JP already let Elena, uh, let Elena know, but no, you're not favorite my anymore. favorite today. Nope. Uh, Sherry has taken the crown of Jay's fave. All right. Um, we, we have more we got part. four emails from Shandy last week. Three emails. She told me what the fourth one was going to be, and it was going to be that uh, Mandy was her favorite. <laughs> Is that four emails? Ro is my favorite. Ro, you sent me more notepads. Um. Thank you so much. I'm very oh, excited. But you know what though? Rose isn't, isn't vying for your favorite. She wants to be Jay's favorite. Jay's fave. Hashtag Jay's fave. <laughs> Hashtag 2021. Hashtag Survivor 41. You know she hated International Assassin on the leftovers. Uh <gasps> really? That's okay. such a great episode. You didn't like she, that, Ro? She hated it. She it's thought it was, arguably the best episode. She said worst episode of the series. She okay, almost stopped watching the. No, I'm, I'm just, just throwing. Okay, it now there. you're just messing with us. Yeah. You're trying to make it so that she's your favorite, not my favorite. No. Again, nobody cares who your favorites are. <laughs> That's true. They want it. They want. They want to be my. Favorite. Okay, let's talk about Survivor. Okay. Uh, right, here we go. We talked about nipples. <laughs> these, these sh- I'm like Tiffany. These shorts are destroying my podcasting game. <laughs> It's it's oh, it was it was it was the shorts. Uh, yeah, that, Jack. Do you, that, do you, do you have? Um, I'm sorry. Do you have that popcorn bag handy? Yes. Oh yeah. Can you Before make the we started, noise? this was the audio that had cut out from the challenge of her shorts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the first time someone's used my shorts <laughs> as an excuse? I mean, it's 41 seasons. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. That is a fr- I my, my shorts caused me to be terrible at the challenge. <laughs> Anecdo- anecdotally, I think you're right. Like honestly, I get it. She was gassed. She was tired. They had this whole yeah. Like, they mentioned know, it like the whole episode. They mentioned it. I mean, uh, Xander was so tired that his uh, he was you know butterflies were showing up as his dead relatives saying hi. So like they were real tired. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I get that she was tired, but uh, I do like when she finally got across the the beam and she got to the ladder. Nobody from her tribe helped her up. No, they just they just let her oh, 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 flop onto the thing. I'm yeah, like, me oh, think he... she's uh, not playing as good a social game as she thinks she is. Uh, like any Long Islander, to be honest. Oh yeah, um, we're, we're all awful. Uh, is she from Long Island? You yeah. all think you have a great social game, but you don't. Um, no, we know. We pride ourselves. <laughs> I'm not having a good. No, it's a point of pride, like being a a hole from New York. Um, 
lower New York. Dennis, obviously, and and uh, their ilk up there. They like you're an out. I guess like, you're Long Island is its own. Well, the outer boroughs, right? The Staten right, Island, right. I'm Long a bridge and tunneler. I'm a yeah. I'm a, a tunneler. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You're a mole. Anywho, JP is a bridger it? though in New Jersey. Yeah, same. But it depends like where in New Jersey, I guess. Rowan, no, 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 New Jersey is pretty much, you know, it's all. It's no, all there's like, there's like They're Philly, all there's like Philly, Jersey, and then there's like there's New what, York, what, Jersey. What part is Smelly things. Jersey? All of it. The, no, there's nice parts of Jersey. There is, but the the Turnpike part is they not. They call it the right. Garden State, so people will get over the smell. I love that movie. Anyway, anyway, let's talk about this Survivor show. We are, yeah, we've just gotten a Xander's nipple. A whole bunch of beggars. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry. That was very sexist of me to say that. Let's just let's talk about certain players. So we didn't have a whole lot of the Green Tribe uh, this episode, but we did get like the episode kind of started with them, and it was like the only real time we saw that their dynamics. Mm-hmm. Um, which Brad got the dodo music to make his own spy shack to spy on JD and Ricard. <laughs> but you don't look, because <laughs> you know. You know, like you're got hunting deer, and they see your eyes. <laughs> they know you're you're out there to kill them. Oh my god! Yeah, like Brad continuing to uh, earn Guys, the title I, of what? I think Brad might be around for a while. You think so? Because he's got the dodo music, but he's also got the likable dodo music. Like, like is there likable dodo music? I didn't realize there was. A yeah, different. and the next, and well, I don't want to talk about the next week on, but I feel like I feel like we might get brad decently through the merge whoa i'm trying to remember what your picks were now but oh we all picked insane. pre-merge for him he was awful in the preseason videos <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's but if you're gonna do something like that don't tell anybody mm-hmm. don't tell anybody just go do, did, did tony come back and tell people what he heard well he told people he was leaving and then told when he came back so yeah. there's not <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go Oh, guys, Tony told everybody everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tony didn't tell people at the, at the spy shack the first didn't season. It, didn't people know about the spy shack? They definitely knew about it in uh, what well, is it, after, after the fact, they knew it. They didn't know about his grave shack or whatever he was doing. The, what was it? <laughs> Foxhole or whatever it was. Grave shack. The spy hole. Spy hole. Spy hole. But anyway, Where's so. Adele? That spy was, hole. Spy hole. We got a little we'll bit of that. Work, and then uh, we also got, you know, a little bit of dynamics where JD is talking about how calm he is. And Brad's like, oh, if he's calm, he's got an idol. Like, clearly, <sighs> duh. So I feel like that's setting us up for something. But I feel like that's setting us up for something like post merge or twi- tribe swap. Like, you were. Di- what? I, I don't know. I, I feel like um, I feel like you're, you're giving Brad too much credit because <laughs> he's so cha- he has so much chaotic energy. It's one thing to be the dodo at it, but it's another to be chaotic because then you can't be brought along, right? Because you're just un- it's same thing kind of for Tiffany, where yeah, you, you just it's don't not a weak player you bring because you don't know where it's where, where it's going to happen. Right. It's like when yeah. when when Aubrey voted out. Um, Debbie and Debbie got mad. She had to because Debbie was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You and can't have. You can't have players that you just can't reason with. They're just so. Yeah. Well, I see I, Tiffany more as like you can't reason with kind of player. I don't see Brad right now as you can't reason with him yet. But <laughs> are we watching a different show? <laughs> I don't have, know. Chat. You tell you, me. Do you have stock in Brad LLC? Like, what is? No, I don't stock in Brad LLC. You know, he, he's and they didn't they even comment. He's a little paranoid, or he's a little yeah. Hold all right, okay, Jack. Clearly, Colleen and I are on two different ends of the spectrum. You are the King Solomon. You decide. I I think he's a little. I think he's. I don't know if I would trust him. I, he's too all over the place. I wouldn't trust him either. I'm just saying. I feel like Brad might be in it. I mean, he he was right about um. Oh, what's his name? JD. JD. He was right I about mean, JD that because JD was there's a lot of players that are just not calm, sit back, you know, mm-hmm. they're, they're oh, oh, oh. you know, with maybe all the twists and stuff and, and turns. But um anyway. Okay. Well, we I, also I, I, I would I wouldn't trust him. 
we also saw saw we Uh-oh. also Our saw Long Island came out there it, it did it did. Oh, uh, Mandy, Mandy said Brad might be the merge boot. I could see he has merge boot energy. Mm-hmm. But he, can we he talk about be, your sore energy? Like what? Like I don't understand why Long Islanders put an R at the end of an AW. I don't know. I sore it. I sore it. it. I anyway. We also saw saw saw. Mm. Is that how you say no. it? Sore. Not saw? It. It's just saw saw saw. We also witnessed but the song Leviosa. Leviosa. Levi- Leviosa. Leviosa. Okay, so we saw that mm-hmm. Shane, uh, Ricard thinks he's making a move, and Shan is kind of just sitting back, letting him think that too. Thank you for uh, using my freaking call out. Thanks, thief. Well, um, you didn't say yeah. it. Uh, I, I really like Shan's player because I do agree. She is, it was my idea that you stole that she's letting ricard make the moves like she's just like well i don't know and it, that is again she's my winner's pick so i know i'm biased but that is exactly how you play it screw you influence winners the picks. other people to be the one making the decisions <laughs> what were you gonna say screw winner's picks <laughs> did your um, winner's pick go home tonight it did. Uh, <laughs> winner pick went home it wasn't my, wasn't my winner's pick voce wasn't your winner's pick was he i thought it was Oh yeah. Yes, Sorry. David. David from uh, Shit's Creek. David from Shit's Creek. Ah, oh, damn, damn it, Colleen, that was her. Uh, okay, all right. Let's that was my what? What? That was your. That was your pick. To go home. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. That was my pick to go home. I knew that. Um, Colleen, why don't you tell us? I what knew a that we is. all had winners' picks, and then we each picked each other's winners' picks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But that second I knew Jack was like, oh, wait, did I pick it? Nope, I picked Ricard. You pick Ricard. But now I need him to be uh, Shan's, Sean Shan's Shan. uh, meat shield. So. Yeah. Or brain no, Shan, shield. Shan is pastor, right? Mafia pastor? Yes. Yes. Mafia pastor. Shan's a mas- mafia pastor, but I think she needs him to be her brain shield. Brain, brain, and meat. Brain meat? Brain meat. Zombie shield. Okay. Brain meat. Um, <laughs> moving on. All right, moving on. Ooh, um, on yeah, that was basically all really that we early. got from Green. Let's talk about... Ooh, let's talk that? about this new uh, uh, idol that was found. Um, the Beware Advantage. The Beware I, Advantage. I, would, I wouldn't have taken it. Here, so this is this is what I wanted to ask Jack, because you have not been a fan of the idols since its inception, really. Yeah. Do you approve of this version of idol being the only type of idol that they could find this year? I'm cool with it. I still think that they sh- it, the idol should have a pun- should have more of a punishment. Like if you not get- having a votes a punishment. Yeah, that's I get, a pretty I, big what, deal. What, what, what I'm saying though, is if you get, say you get an idol that's there's an idol out there that can save you, an idol out there says, okay, you lose your vote, and you, and you can't. And so maybe it, so something like that where you take the idol, but you're allowed to pass it to someone else. I'd like to give this idol to such and such. You know, if they think it's a real idol. And they go home. There'd be poor more. more oh, to just, screw somebody else's to screw game. Screw someone else over. Like put it like under that. their pillow. Be like, no, no, no. Your you, pillow you, you idol. Little, somebody you go, oh, hey, look, you're you're in trouble. We're an alliance, but we're not really an alliance. I have an idol. You use this idol tonight. Jeff goes, yes, it's an idol, but you lose your vote. Then you're not safe from the vote. Boom. <laughs> that that would that would be that would be to me a lot more interesting than this one where. I mean, everyone figured out right away. Oh, I see butterflies in my whatever it was. My dead relatives are butterflies. Something like that would be because then there'd be some risk. Mm-hmm. This one tells you right away. Okay, this is coming with some risk. And I, if I was Xander, I would have said, "Uh, uh-uh. I, I already have an extra vote. I don't need this." And I definitely wouldn't have told anybody that I had it. Telling the people was a mistake, right? Yeah. And then where they where he placed his trust. But he's young, and you know. You, I don't know. But, but that's that what that's what I w- wish they would do is, is have something like mm-hmm. that where it would put more strategy. Into, I mean, he's screwed. I mean, he can't he can't vote till it all comes together. Right. The, the, yeah. So I was, that's why I kind of I dug it just because the stakes are like way higher because yeah. you have to rely on two other tribes finding it. Saying the really stupid phrases. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and it does it, it. It lets people know you have an idol so much more. Uh, the one thing I do wish is that the phrases were a little bit more subtle. Yeah. Um. Like I think one was. No. Sl- are you kidding was, me? 
No, because then it just because not only are you telegraphing that you have an idol, that's but, the whole risk. It's but amazing. That, but you already have a risk. You don't have a vote until somebody gets all three. Then once they have all three, then they have to send out the the call signal before the thing. Like I feel like the mm -hmm. disagree. The calling what, what? the shot like that because it's going to get around. Everyone's going to know who has the idol, and I think would have been part of accepting the risk of the would advantage. It, would have been smarter to wait to, for someone else to say something. No, I think he had to. No, he doesn't have to. No, I I think, I think that's what the paper said is that every tribal you have every immunity challenge you have to read it out. I think you have to all three. Or you have don't to get do a it. vote. So what's no, the no, harm no. in reading it out? All, that's that's well, the risk. You it's amazing. Assume, it was hold amazing. On, hold on. You can assume that, okay, at this point, probably all three don't have it. Um, and then see if some others do it. And then then you go back into it. Way, and you know it, how it, many people it, go out way. and search for idols on the first but day? all three tribes finding it in the first three I mean, days, it was it was, it was day five. Day, was day five. But, he, but either way, though, he, he's already lost his vote. Does he have to say it? Yes, because he has no. You don't so, have to say it. You don't. You, no. Okay. Well, even if you don't have to say it, you have zero chance of getting your vote back if you don't say it. Yeah, but if, but if you that, say but, it, you have at least a chance that somebody else but, has. But I'm saying, let someone. Okay, someone else said it. I'll say it now. I wouldn't want to be the first one to say it because obviously, everyone in the tribe knew what he was saying. Right. I don't know. I thought that. The fact that they have to do that and the way that he worked it in, like it was hilarious. And can you imagine how amazing it's going to be when all three people have to work that in? And that's, again, that's the point, though. Like you have this idol and no, you know, once it all like comes together as a three way idol, which I think they can only use one person can use. Right. They can use in their alliance if they have Ooh, an alliance uh together. According to Roe, um, my favorite, uh, he has to say <laughs> it every week, according to Dalton Ross. Okay. That's what I thought that it said. You have to say it at every tribal. I thought it was they all had to three say it at the same time to activate it. But if you no. don't say it, then you're not going to activate so it. So he's going to say this every week? Yes. He has to figure out. So, so that's, I can't wait till next week where he's like, oh man, guys, I'm so rested. Like my relatives, like super duper, you know, they were super duper butterflies. That's why when it said it comes with a risk or whatever it said, I would have said no. I would have put it back. There oh was, yeah, but you're there's... older. Hold on. You're older. And obviously, uh, now is the time where you don't take risky investments. You go into safe and yeah, securities. and he's young. At, he's well, Chris's life. comment: the risk or challenge is saying the phrase at the ch at challenge after challenge until all three are said. Like you took the risk, and now that's the terms. No, okay, all right, all right. But I kind of like but, it actually. But couldn't he couldn't he have waited till a little longer? I mean, you, you know, it's not a. I don't think when, a, when Jess asks those questions, it's not like it goes on for like an hour. Yeah, yeah, but I thought that was a great way to work it in. He's like, yeah, I, I'm just it, so tired. I was delir I was so delirious that like I actually believe my rel my butterflies were my dead relatives saying hi, which everybody else later on was like, you know, he was talking about purple butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elena is with me as well. It's too obvious. Like it's too over the top. But that's the point. That's the point. Everybody's good. Like your risk, you your risk of having this idol is everybody's gonna know. You also have a one in three chance. Of using and and, and, it. and to be honest, this is the one and done type. Oh, he froze. Idol because no one like looking. <laughs> but why would you? I mean, what do you really gain from it? You lost your vote. Mm -hmm. you, you have to, and you have you, to basically telegraph that you have it. So, have like, it, what's yeah. the point? Yeah. Like there, I, I think it's one or the other. It's either you have to telegraph you have it or you're losing a vote. I think losing a vote is a penalty enough. The I the idol to me is only important if you need it. I mean, obviously if you if you're in trouble. I I, I think, but that's what I'm saying. You want to have one for the end game. Because if you're the best yeah, player, yeah, you want that in your back pocket. Period. The end. So if you take away like the secretness of it, I think that just basically negates the whole purpose of having an idol. I like the and fact that there's not four thousand idols. Agreed. Like I I love the extra. Like again, I think losing the vote is a fair penalty earlier in the game because you, it, later in the game you're going to want it. Early in the game, honestly, if you have to use an idol that early in the game, it's not going so hot for you. Yeah, but you're not, you're you you want that like last eight, seven, six people where that's your riskiest time and you need to make it to the very end and get your yourself as well as your alliance to the to the very end. That's where you want the idol. So losing your vote early on is a sacrifice. It's risky early game, but pays off late game. But losing your early game 
uh, ability to vote, plus telegraphing that you have, it just makes it a risk the whole damn time. Again, so, that's why I said I would have put it back. But he, you didn't know. You didn't know all those things. Like to, uh, I didn't for, know for it, him, but, he's like, oh, what could it be? But now that you know, sure, absolutely. But he didn't I, know what I those was saying, things I was were. saying before he even opened, I go, put it back. It's bad. <laughs> because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to shake up the game and, and change mm-hmm. it around. It wasn't going to be... It wasn't going to be say, oh, you get this and, and 10 extra votes. <laughs> was so gonna... how how would you feel if, so you know how we have had winners like Mike uh, in, what was it like, working class versus non-working class versus, what was it, blue, white, color, blue, color, no color, when Mike <laughs> yeah. won. And he won basically by winning like seven immunity challenges in a row. Right. Do you think that somebody who has no vote but manages to, and people know now, manages to still survive every single vote without a vote would have a good chance of winning if they could figure out how to control the game without actually having a vote themselves? It would be a good resume. Would yeah. look good. I mean, if you have no vote and you somehow manage to survive. And especially if you were able to like talk to other people into voting well, especially you know, though, if they lose right. next week, he's gone. Oh, yeah. And I don't yeah. see that tribe winning. I mean. Uh, Chris said, I'm wondering if Xander now has to say it again. Yes, he has to say it every single immunity see, challenge. Too it's too much. Yeah. Oh, no, but that's the whole point. I okay, love it. I can't, I can't and, wait. And, and to another thing, too, say, say someone else find what was the other one? Turf, goat. Uh, uh, Chris has it again in the, his next comment. Uh, goat on astroturf, I think it is. So someone says goat on astro, astroturf, and he goes, "Oh, butterflies!" And so now that they're going to know that that person has it too. Mm-hmm. It's, it's going to yeah. be like that's the whole I, point. That's the whole point. I think I, it's great. I understand that's the point, but it what I'm saying anything. is, it takes it. It literally it takes all the too strategy much. Away. It takes away all the strategy and the advantage away of the thing. Well, it doesn't actually take away strategy. Yes, it does because you just have to have a new strategy. What's okay, new so strategy? tell me. Okay, say you're in this situation, Colleen. You're a player, and you're you've no told boat. me many times that you would do well in this game. No, I have not. What, I'm clearly what would you aware do? that I would do terrible at this game. What would you do with this? If you were in Xander's shoes, Colleen is there. We have swapped bodies. Her nipples are perfectly normal. <laughs> what would you do? So I, first of all, I really liked the way that I brought it up tonight because I thought that, that was hilarious. So I would do that. And then I would just figure out a way, the way that the situation presented itself. Because I think, because don't forget every other person that gets it, they are also required to say it. It's not yeah. that he's required to yeah. say it first. I understand I it's not. I, I understand so it's him. But you I'm know, saying, how do you use it? How do you use it now? I would use it the way that he is. used it tonight. Because I thought that the way that he used it tonight was actually kind of very entertaining. That's just like, that's just trying to meet the rules. I'm saying, okay, say you are now without a vote. When it, Say this works out and it becomes a real idol. How do you strategically use it? Because now at least two other people know. Uh, e, uh, Evie has already spread it to another person, so now they're looking for it. And plus, how everybody- many people with a secret? It's not going to stay a secret. So, how do you effectively use that idol? That's my question to you: Is how do you effectively use, especially that if, that's idol only, when- if that's the only one? There's going to be three, I guess. Three, but, but they'll flush. They'll flush them out. The way I- that's what I'm saying, like, so how I do think- these not get flushed out immediately? How do you keep them and have it be a usable immunity idol? That's my question to you, Colin. Well, obviously, it's going to be situational. However, you uh, you may have to talk to the rest of your alliance and try to uh, convince he has no uh, them to yeah. put a target on one of the other two people. <laughs> but what? everyone knows, so the target's on him, so it's toast. Well, the target's on three people, so you get the target on the other two people, but well, you that, convince the other two people that the target's on you, and they give it to you. You know, like well, a hold up bro moment with Malcolm, where he's like, hold up, bro, like, give me the idol, but he wasn't really actually in trouble. Here's another problem with this idol. He has to, two other people have to not only find it, but take it. Right. That, that you, I mean, you see that, like, oh, screw it, I don't want this idol. Yeah, that's Put a good it back. Point. And so he's still without a vote. Yes, he is. Happened, That's the happened, risk of taking it. 
And this goes. That's a risk. You know, there's risk. But I'm saying it's too much risk because it's it makes the whole. But point, do you think that makes literally having he's idol, like moot? There's right. 18 players, so you think the other 16 players, 15 players, out of all of them, nobody else is going to take that risk? Sure, they'll take the risk. But I'm saying, okay, say they play. all take the risk. Say they all take the risk, and if it's being passed around like that. And and again, if people start to know, you have three people and having to announce it, and then you have alliances. More than three people are going to know that that's what who has the idol when they say that at the thing, right? And that the rumors are going to go around. More people are going to know that that everyone has it. And as Cortez says, and and announce they have it. And I'm with Elena here. I don't know if the idols are as, in, as interesting if everyone knows you have it because the whole point of the idol is to have it in your late game. So that you can avoid the boot because everybody knows you're probably going to win the game. That's why you have the idol. So how do you use an idol effectively if everybody knows you have it? They're going to flush the idol out, right? And they're going to exactly. So then, like, what's the point? So you just need to use your alliances and play it so that when they flush the idol out, you're not the person that you're you're down a vote. Holding the hot potato, you just have to do do that. It's another addition. If you're down a vote as well. So not only are you telegraphing Again, it's, that you it's have what it. I, what I just said, like you have to figure out a way that you're not stuck holding the hot potato when it comes up over the, amongst the three of you that have it. So but, I don't okay, know, maybe, say, maybe say they, the they have a tribe swap and Tiffany ends up with the other one. And then you're like, oh God, vote the, her out. And it's, like, it's like, why have the idol? Because at that point, you want your best player to have an idol late game so that they can avoid getting booted, right? That's sure, the whole you always point. want that late that's, game, but that's, somebody's that's always going to have an idol early game. The, like the- Exactly. But if it's useless, then what's the point of having it? And I think that's my problem it, is it, that. It, it takes away, we've said, it takes away, there's no strategy. Yeah. You're you're like, okay, it's, I, it, it's like, it's, you might, it's like if someone finds an idol and comes back and go, yeah, I have an idol, and tells, his whole, tells mm-hmm. the whole tribe he has an idol, which we all would, would say, that's just effing stupid, right? You don't ever tell anybody you have an idol. Yeah. And he, so he, everyone's going to know he has an idol. He, I mean, I don't know what he can do. Plus he has no vote. <laughs> but again, that's just an added layer to the game. He accepted I, I, that. But, and now he has this thing that t- makes it, his game harder to play. Oh, and it's your thought, Jack, because I think that's the right thought. I, I think that the, it takes away any strategy. And that's, that's the producer's, like when, with Ben, where they kept giving idol, idol, they ruined the game. Now they're ruining the game by saying, okay, you may have an idol, but everyone's going to know you have an idol. You don't have a vote. You don't have this. You're, you're basically just dead man walking. Pretty much. Right? And again, he has to hope that two other people find the idol and accept it. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's going to happen if they it goes until the merge and then, then people go, okay, yeah, he doesn't have a... He doesn't have a uh, vote. He doesn't have an idol. We can just keep him around and <laughs> we want to kick him out. There's there's nothing. Nobody's going to work with him. But again, that's it's a game. That's the risk you take when you take the a, idol. I, I, call that the, the wear advantage. It's, like, a, I get it's, it. a, it's a game, but it, it, it's gone. Again, the produce season one. I mean, we keep going back to the old school game. You had to have it, it was the producers are mixed. I, I, I'm all for the mixing it up. I, I like the mixing it up. I just think they should do, okay, you go out and look for an idol. You either find an idol or you find something that's not an idol where you lose a vote. And then you it's up to you mm-hmm. to get rid of that hot potato, yep. as you put, said, Colleen. All right, I'm going to get rid of this hot potato. I'm going to give it. You know what? I'm safe tonight. You might be in trouble. You're in my alliance. I want you to have it. Mm-hmm. And they then they lose their vote. And they go, well, I'll play my idol, Jeff. Well, this is not an idol. Yeah. You, you're screwed. Yeah, I, I mean that's, I think, that would be that's that's a lot more interesting than what Xander's having to go through. Yeah, exactly. Because that that that's I totally agree. Where I understand it needs to be sh- the idle play needs to be shaken up, and so I appreciate the effort to shake it up. Right. But when you take away the strategy of it, then why even have a damn idol? Because it's not your. It, I don't see how if everyone knows you have it, then what's the point of it? And and that could be that could that alone could be the twist, right? It's just like, well, it's not really a secret anymore. But even then it's like, okay, whatever. Or you also or it or not and you lose your vote. So it's like I'm risking my early game to hopefully have a better late game, but not both, because then it's just like, Glenn, what was the point of this? Espe- especially if this is the idol for this season. Maybe there's a nullifier, the like a idol. beware idol. But, I, but I agree with but... I agree with you, Colleen. If he somehow survives this. And is able to go 
weeks without a boat and survive the game, then yeah, he deserves probably some consideration to win. I just don't think the players are going to be that stupid to keep him in the game when they yeah. know he doesn't have a boat and they know he could possibly have an idol. I mean, actually, it's kind of a good goat if you think about it because they don't have a vo- <laughs> goat vote. Um, <laughs> Cortez nice. has a good point here. So down the road, I wonder if Xander could take this shot in the dark since he always doesn't have a vote to lose. That's a good yeah, point. But you only get to do it once. You're right. You're right. Which he would know, probably, like which he probably would do next tribal council. Yeah. And I, I'm totally with Elena here. Xander blew it up further by telling his tribe. Now everyone uh, knows why he's blabbling nonsense. That is a good point here too. I think That's what, a good point. but, and, and so, yeah, that, that is what's made this essentially the whole, like that act of him telling Evie, and then Evie telling, I can't remember who she told on the, the island thing. Everyone she told Desha- everyone. Deshaun. Well, essentially, yeah. <laughs> Deshaun. Deshaun. And she told everybody on her tribe. And once they merge, like, everyone's going to know. And that, and I understand that, that you put that on Xander a little bit. But I also put that on, like, the producers thinking out gameplay that if and even a little bit of it gets out, this is very easily uh, kind of... Um, I don't know. It breaks down really fast. And it's I almost like when, when you're, when you're, I always hate when they, you know, you're, you're in a good spot. You have four people in your alliance and then they mix up the tribes and now you're on the bottom of the alliance. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you just, t- you just, the producers have just dictated the game. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, it's like in any sport, any game where someone goes, Oh no, we're going to change the rules now. I, that's why I've always hated the merge you know, the, when they switch up the tribes because someone always gets screwed. I play, I played great for 12 days. Oh, well now I'm at the bottom. I'm, I'm on a tribe with three people from one tribe and I'm the lone person. Yep. I mean, yeah. some people have managed to pull it out, but usually they, they don't, they get voted out. Um, Manny says Xander's blow up has put Evie in a much better position. Hashtag team Evie. I listen, I think Evie's playing the best game that we're well, uh, next to my winner pick, Shan, but or Sean. Shan, Sean? Shan, Shan. 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 Um Cortez, but does he find out he can't use it before after he tries it? <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Um But that's yeah. pretty epic too, like entertainment wise. Finding out, like, entertainment games. wise, yes. Gameplay, no. I but again, what, that's what, the what, risk you take. You sign. I up understand the game. risk. I'm just saying, I'm totally fine with risk. And but that, if next, it's next, next travel, Jeff's gonna say Xander cannot have a boat. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, <laughs> people out there watching, in case you haven't paid attention the last 50 minutes, TLDR: Xander can't vote. The TV like, show Password's coming back, and he's. I was he's saying going, he's going the for password a password is. The password is. <laughs> obvious okay maybe he's maybe he's going for an asmr thing maybe that's what uh, he's going for is that why his voice was all hoarse did we find out did he have like laryngitis or something you know but i think he was yelling so hard at tiffany he blew out his voice (laughs) because if you notice it happened well you know what that wouldn't be the first or the last time that uh long island yelling in long island blew out somebody's voice or or the uh, we didn't know that for twenty years, him saying "guys" is what uh, gave his voice sustenance to oh. have the ability to be a host on this show. But taking away him being able to say "come in, guys," it has dried out his throat, and now it is dry, and he can't speak anymore. It's yeah. kind of like his ah. Uh, uh... Like his mm-hmm. Ursula the Sea Witch little like thing, the word guys. Well, well sorry, it's, it's Jeff. Ariel's Ursula stole that. So yeah, let's just get our facts straight. Well, maybe just a Talking sea witch stole money. Jeff's voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the thing though now is there going to be like an even hotter Jeff Propes because that's what happened in Little Mermaid we can no, all agree the, more... the Ursula human Ursula or whatever the, no I figured the, it out Jeff you Ursula? know how he we thought that he overdid it with like all the Botox or whatever last week mm-hmm. no it wasn't that he traded his voice for like <laughs> he was at the crossroads and made a deal with the devil <laughs> um 
All right. The chat is done with us talking about this, and we did spend way too long arguing about it. Can we get back to complaining about all the Voce medical references, something we can all agree on? You know what? I know that people hate Voce. But I really you know, I don't him. think anybody really hated him that I much. I thought he was great. I, I thought I, he was really I good. He, Don he, got, he, he got a raw deal. He did. I, I think he we it gave him a hard time. He came off a little bit like a tool in the pregame stuff. But I think in the game, I really liked him. He and said he was. He, 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 he said I had to make my, you know, I worked my way. I'm not just naturally smart. You know, my mm-hmm. mom was a single mom. My dad died at a young age. Mm-hmm. All that I was like, okay, we can't vote this guy out. But I, I knew... I knew he was going out for the vote because it was obvious. <laughs> it looks like Poche is going to go out somewhere. Yes. Ask him a question so that he, he can have a little bit of a moment to talk yes. about his mother. Right. Because that's what we're doing this season. This is the new Whisper Survivor <laughs> with Jack and Carly. Can you imagine if if, if Boss Rock <laughs> and, and, and Sarah were on there going, the hell is wrong with Jack? <laughs> <laughs> and she wouldn't say oh, hell. It'd be the oh, end word. We need, we need Rob and Sandra. Like, can they do like a live stream? Can like we stream like, the, like, like online? Like Monday, yeah, like what they do with Monday Night Football. Have yeah, have exactly. Fun. Just, ha- it, just yes. making fun of Jeff. I mean, it just uh, because it, could, was, it was they so, would do it, it too. Was so, it was so stupid. There's nothing to stop them from doing it. They have yeah. internet. They could yeah. do this yeah, with or without if, CBS. If you're listening. Yeah, do it. All right, Rob, so, Sandra, live stream. Getting I want to see your thought. And I, I want to say this about Tiffany, too. She goes, yeah, when I knew it was only 26 days, I knew it was going to be tougher than most survivors. You know what? Jeff told you that on the boat. That's okay, mm-hmm. Tiffany. You take credit for it. Uh, Rose says, no um, beyond the basic spoilers, please. No, big brother. I know. I was just. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was well, I don't watch big day. brother. Um. Challenge was interesting. Colleen, do you want to call out what the uh, quiz thing for the kids at home was? Oh, it was. Um, uh... <sighs> no, I can't remember. Voce uh... would know. Voce would know. Yes, he would. Within I a did decimal. It. I did point. it real quick yeah. too. Well, what I told you, I went. It had W you, Earth right. like worth. Oh, oh, uh, worth wait, worth worth waiting worth... for. I think so. Anyways. Here's the thing that I love about that little challenge is it's for the kids, right? And so oh, Colleen so looks excited. at it and she's like, oh, it's this. Oh, that was super easy. I was like, Colleen, it's for children. Yeah, as there's a child sitting next to me. <laughs> and Zach's like. Just like, oh, right. why are we doing this? What are, uh, why, why are we doing this? I don't understand. Final, final thoughts on the tribal. I think we kind of already hit it already. I think Evie played the right move here, Evie especially if she a... included Xander. But yeah. uh, thoughts I think on she did. Tribal. And I have to say, like, Evie did a great job breaking down, like, alliance versus physical strength. And then Xander waxed poetic about why the game is so beautiful. Oh, worth playing for. Thank you, Chris. You're my new uh, tied favorite with Ro. Um, worth playing have, for. You can't have tied favorites. Uh, I can have whatever That's I like want. That's like saying you, 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 both of your children are your favorite. That's not true. Every parent has a favorite. No, they're they don't tell favorite. you that, but they do. My favorite was all when they moved out. <laughs> I tell Zach that all the time. He's like, one day you're going to move out. And he's like, I'll never leave. And I was yeah, like, he's oh, like, I'm, I'm never going to leave I'm you. you out. 18, <laughs> get in the boot. He's like, I don't know how to make toast. This was yesterday morning at a complete breakdown because he came in the our room. He's like, feed me and i was like all right what do you want he was like toast i was like seriously you woke me up for toast go make your own toast i was like i don't know how to even though he makes toast like every morning anyways let's uh wrap up the conversation because we do need to get to tally the votes so yes final thoughts here no we don't need to get to tally the votes (sighs) all right um we do not have time for three emails colleen so do you want to pick one really good oh they're all short it's shandy's emails they're all short they better be short. You got two minutes tops. Go. Dude, she's you two know. minutes. She's a VIP. Oh, did we finish? Not though, to me. I don't do a podcast with her. Two minutes. She's not in the chat. She can't be anybody's favorite. She's not in the chat. She's also not Elena or Sherry, one of my two favorites of the season. <laughs> and uh, let's move it along. Let's go. Okay. Wow. Um, first of all, Double time. Double time. Okay, geez, Louise, I feel like you're talking to your kids. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, uh, Dad, I've taken it over from you. I'm like double time. Let's go. 
Let's move it. Double time. Double time. Double time. Double time. I, I also I added um, chip chop chip, which is from uh, Jim Gaffigan. Oh. Chip chop chip. Chip chop. Did we have final thoughts though about that? Like tribal? Wasn't that what you wanted to do? We already did. Minute I already 30 said on the emails. Minute thirty. <laughs> Oh you my got- goodness. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, I don't know. I guess I guess the players that were left made the right vote for them, except for Xander, who didn't actually, you know, have a choice because he didn't have a vote. So there we go. Voce, I will say you were a lot more tolerable than your preseason videos. So sorry to see you go. I I'm sorry I gave shirt. him the kiss, the kiss of death. Down to a minute 30. Okay, Chris is no longer tied for my favorite. <gasps> <Just kidding>. One <laughs> minute. One minute. I need a new battery in this. <laughs> this whole favorite thing is dumb. I don't like it. All right. Anyway, uh, Shandy's email from last week. A bone to pick. Hey, folks. My favorite alternative to guys. I have a small bone to pick with Jay. Oh, On Survivor JJ. I was a little worried when I heard Jay. I was, ah. mm, be careful, Shandy. On... On Survivor JJC, Jay keeps saying that Elena is his favorite. Uh-oh. Darn it. Don't get me wrong, Elena is awesome and I love her too, but I distinctly remember a time when Jay referred to me as his favorite. Oh, yeah, you did do that, Jay. But I she's don't... not here, is she? Where is she? See, this favorite thing is so stupid. Uh, I don't want to compete with my fellow woman, so maybe we could be co-favorites. Oh, mm-hmm. look, it's like the idol. It's a three-way Mm-mm. favorite. <laughs> well, she, she has to say something about butterflies and goats and... DC dopes and dosy dopes. Normally, I would condone. Okay, if Shandy th- comes into the chat one time, and it doesn't matter if she's on the the wrong feed. I think it's fine. She can still come into the chat. All you guys have to do is Sherry and uh, uh, Elena and and Shandy have to align. Maybe when they're here in Raleigh for the meetup weekend, if you guys can each say a line, <laughs> you guys could come together. To no, be- listen. Usually, I'm all for a three-way situation, but in this case, <laughs> uh, Elena has been loyal and uh, is definitely more deserving of a uh, favorite right now. Shandy's listening too. I don't hear her. I don't anyway, see her in the chat. Um, I think that you a try. I, I think a, a try this. favorite situation is fine. Mm-mm. Uh, I don't listen. You can. There's people that stream the East Coast. So. Feed. Uh, Manny said she can't watch the episode before you go love. Yes, but she's also, you know, doing things like at work because it's like the the West Coast. Anyway, um, I'm excited that Survivor's back and also that and that also means I get to listen to Survivor with J Jack and Colleen. Can't wait to see you all at the meetup. Yay! Um, speaking of favorites, I think that Frank is actually Jay's real favorite. And he just can't wait to like touch Frank's hair. Jay talks about Frank's hair all the time. Uh, only a few times. Only a few right? times. So that's like all the time, it. practically. Man, Frank's got some great hair. <laughs> he, he's, he's had great hair. His his COVID hair is some of my favorite COVID hair I've seen. <laughs> she also <laughs> said in her second email regarding my microphone, P.S. the gain is not all the way up on my mic. You sound great. So I XO, don't XO. I know the gain wasn't all the way up. But I, I, I didn't say that. I think it was the vault. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I think we've kind of figured it out. Cool. Was that two emails? Why is this clock not letting me? I need new batteries in it. It's not opening up. Why are you focusing on the clock? Nobody cares about Because I clock. need to give you a timer because you're, you're like four minutes in on your two minutes. Who cares? I care. You, have you know what? There's a lot of sirens going on outside, so somebody might not even have two minutes left. So don't pressure me. That's life, bro. You could die at any time. A meteor could fall and hit you right now. Exactly. That's, Do you that's hear why we're, it, though? There's a lot of sirens. It sounds like we're trying to finish the here. episode. Yeah. I'm old. I could die before, this, said, before this email's read. Mm-hmm. It's done. Yeah. I we just thought, combined them all. We thought uh, Jack would get his World Series ring finally this year. It's not going to happen. Oh, yeah. That was tough. <laughs> Because that we're Padres tough. fans, we will never be happy. Nope. <laughs> I got why the do you jinx. Still have I got the Chargers thing up behind you. It's... Yeah, that's my question. Is why do you still have that? You, why? What, is, what does it say? I know, but San they're Diego not Chargers. The... I. Uh... But they're not the San Diego Chargers anymore. You gotta let it go. No, I feel uh, like no. The, the time out. It's I still have great memories of the San Diego Chargers. Mm. I just don't support the LA Chargers. Do you I, have I... great memories of them though? Great punishment, yeah. I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting this one framed. I got it at, at my toy show. 
an autograph. He's holding up an autograph Tatis. Tatis uh, Jr. He's picture. no, he's no long, he's he's not going to win MVP. I don't care. He's still my favorite current player. I, I I'll have something to say about him on Friday. Whoa, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna rain down hard on the old Tatis. Not Jr. rain hard. All I'm, right. Anyway, so Elena something. says soon we will all be butterflies. That's right. Just <sighs> no, I, I want to be a moth. And Mc, and uh, Mackenzie, <laughs> Mandy said this is how we're spending our last minutes. <sighs> Sucks for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's go yeah. to let's go to tally the vote. Can you imagine being up in heaven? Yeah, this is how I spent my last minutes. You want to hear about it? Let me. Hold on. There we go. Mm-mm. All right, let's tally the votes first. Let's somebody see... please though buy Jack a different thing for his background screen. We can't. You, you just gotta let go. If you release that karma. Maybe mm-hmm. you holding on to I, that's that. That's what it is. You're yeah, holding on to the it. Chargers, and you're keeping that negative energy into the Padres. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to cheer for – remember Dan Fouts and all the great players? Sure, but yeah, they're in not, your heart. They're not, yeah, in your heart, man. You don't keep your ex-wife's pictures all around because exactly, you did have you good times good together. Times? My, my wife gave this uh, – I have this stupid lost thing here. The Chargers didn't die. They left you, man. Yeah, they left you. But it's they the walked San, out. It's San Diego Chargers. My but wife they, got this for me. But they don't love you. They but left. Your wife has also bought you other things. Yeah, there's plenty of things she's bought you. My wife doesn't buy me anything. So that's be true. All right. She Before, bought you the. Oh no, the, we bought you the hat that you're wearing. And this we hat. This hat. hat. <laughs> they've won eleven games since August Listen. 11th. I bought that hat in July. So when did I really, get the, when did I get the hat? But I'm saying August I bought 11. it before. So if any bad August mojo 11. you have brought to it, because I had I bought just, the hat. I'm just telling you, August 11th, the Jinx hat. When the, the when they were coasting to the playoffs. Anyway, uh David Voce. We all said pre merge, so we all get points. Congratulations. Woo-hoo! Everybody. Um, so that gives us all a tally. Telling me, but bana- oh, Jack, you're on the board for the first time with a tally what? point. Congratulations! Um, and then our winner picks all are in except for you, Jack. I'm so sorry. Sorry, you know, the first time when they first started you're saying Bochi, Bo- I go, Who the hell is that? <laughs> but oh, the man. Anyway, I'm okay, I'm cool with it. It's fine, I don't care. Wait, there's like a strike through on here or something, isn't there? There is up top. Hold on. See where? Nope. Yeah. Nope. It's part of formatting. Hold on. I'll go into my Google. That's Google Docs. Yeah. Text to ha strike through. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Okay. You got it. Um, Also, you can just do uh, control S or whatever it is. How about you control your S and let me do this? Um, Jack. (laughs) Okay. Whoa. See what Chris Dorn has? Um, uh, I actually have a baseball bat from the Glatfelter Paper Company in York. Could use that as a replacement. Well, there you go. I probably could. Does it say yeah. Glatfelter on it? Yeah, just, ask, so. just ask Jay. He uh, likes to freely give out Jack's address to people. Hey, listen, Jack. I got I, this week. Somebody else wanted to send me something, and I got a P.O. box. So he did. He worry. got a P.O. box. Oh, okay. All right. All right. To send you things. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. Okay. So. Uh, I picked Ricard. That didn't happen. Jack picked Shan. That didn't happen. But Colleen snaps, picked snaps, Voce. Snaps me. So that snaps, is another snaps. tally. And she, for the first time, for anyone, takes the lead uh, for our tally votes for the season. What? That's We should give her the idol where it has no power. Yeah, exactly. You see how she wins. Not only team. no power, but actually hurts your game. <laughs> um... <laughs> Colleen loves it, so it'll be great for her. Yeah. Uh, Jack, you get to pick uh, who you think is going home next week first. Oh, God. Um, I'll say Brad. What the hell? I don't know. You're going to say Brad? Yeah. It's probably going to be Xander, but... Okay. Uh, Colleen, you're up. I think it's going to be Xander. I, I don't see how... Unless there's a swap, I don't see how that team wins unless it's like a you know everybody pick one person kind of challenge yeah i i think i'm gonna go tiffany i think this is just wistful thinking i think she is even with brad the worst player 
Um, I know I feel bad yeah. because, you know, I'm all for the girl power, but I'm so biased by the Long Island is. I can't help it. I'm thing sorry, Tiffany. Tiffany. It, thing with Tiffany, if she can make it to the merge, she makes it to final three. Because uh, I, think she's crazy. Like a, I think she's too unpredictable. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, we that was our whole point. That. Yeah. Yeah. And she Andy's could, with like, us here. She could go all Abby Maria on them, too. That's yeah. Like Abby, easy take to the end. Didn't happen. Um, all right, Jack, last but not least, your wonderful David got booted. Yeah, so okay. I'm going to go with, a- is it Avi? Evie. 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 I'm sorry, Evie. I'm going to go with Evie. Okay. I, I, I almost went with her last week, and last second, I went with David. Oh, look. Stu- that's, stu- stu- I stupid think... me. <laughs> Jay, uh, but she, but she's playing. She's, out. she's playing a. She's playing a smart game. She's playing a great game. Uh, she is. Um, Which means she's probably not long for this game. <laughs> well, what she'll well, do I, is she'll get the advantage that also is a disadvantage that leads to her losing. <laughs> right. She'll be. Uh, but Colleen will love it. Colleen will think it's great. Yeah, I I didn't say that the advantage itself was great. great. I thought I that the fact it. that it brought up new gameplay was. You know, not something to totally, you know, no, it, it brought over. it brought up non game play. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different way that you have to play the uh, game. Well, yeah, here's here's like here's how I get to play Survivor if I'm Xander. But he can't just do that if he just does that like a dead man walking. Then he's going to go on. home. Is that he's how you cross use... your arms normally? What is this? What are you doing? Cross your I, arms normal. He's no, is... he's saying in the grave, dead man walking. Dead man walking. Oh, I get okay. it. Thank I, you, I, I got Thank you, you Colleen. Thanks. You're you got you got to put the coins on your eyes if you're gonna really sell that to me. Uh, what? Speaking of, he's not saying he's actually in a grave. He's saying he's a dead man. Well, I got it, Jack. Yeah, Don't worry about it. Speaking you. of murders, Jack, yeah. are you watching uh, Only Murders in the Building yet? Your mom has not. I were. I'm waiting for your mom to watch it. It's a fun show. We're gonna watch it as soon as we're done. Here. Come on, I want to talk to you about it, you son of a gun. I've been waiting for your mom. We're Don't say that because so- then people will want to podcast about it. <sighs> we're gonna go see Anyways. the Sopranos movie on. Uh, Saturday. Oh, nice! Is that, Is that in movie? theaters? I thought that was like a just a TV show. Thing. It's uh, HBO or theaters. We're gonna oh, see okay. it in theaters. Nice, good for you guys. We're um, gonna go right. see the Muppet uh, Haunted Mansion thing. I'm really that's excited on about Disney that. Plus. I know. All right. Well, I see James Bond. Uh, Haunted Mansion thing. Oh, wait, yeah. that's the wrong one. Um, everyone, check out Jack and I. We're going to be... Uh, who else is in your Padres live stream? Uh, Sergio. Do it. Do I know this person or no? He's on Twitter. I tried to get the, the Hosmer guy. I was like, our landscaper is going to be... <laughs> I, tried, I, I tried to get the Hosmer guy, but he was he's unavailable. Oh. There's not other Padre people you can get? There are, but it's like... Wait, this, this Sergio guy, he knows this stuff. Okay. You should right. uh, you should ask the home run. Listen, team. you better not. I'm not coming there if you're going to slander Tatis. He is a national treasure, and I want to hear nothing negative. About I'm him. not slandering Tatis. I'm just saying he needs to grow up. He's okay. 22. He is growing up, and Tingler's a P.O.S. I don't want to hear nothing. I will say that sometimes Tatis does act like he kind of has to grow up a little bit. He's like where Manny was a few years ago, but then like Manny seems to have kind of come into his own probably because he got older, like by a couple of years. I'm just saying. He's just 22. As a Were person that's watching 22? behavior. No, I wasn't a mature person until I was like 35 and I'm 37 and now. That's so like, I debatable. get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's, All right. You'll just have to wait and hear what I have to say. No, I'm just going go to. Gonna, I'm going in the lion's den. I, I realize I'm going to take some heat for it. But no, I, people I, are loving to hate on Tatis right now. So no. it's, you're you're just joining not, the crew. Not, not Padre fans. No. Mm-hmm. No one's hating on Tatis. No. Mm-hmm. They hate the Texas Rangers. <laughs> God. Okay, so people it'll be friday Thank night you. at 10 o'clock if you're a Padres o'clock. fan on uh, seven o'clock pot sports sports yes if you're at, Wait, at, friday um, night at 10 friday, friday night, night at 10, 10 east coast time seven pacific east coast time is that is that a bad time kind did we commit to something we did not commit to something oh, i just didn't Good. know you're doing this at friday night at 10 it's not uh i'd prefer no. to talk well now no now i don't want to talk about the Padres. we're gonna talk about that about tatis and i gotta and before i'll get rid of this before uh <laughs> Maybe you could, Jack, you could go to Kinko's and get 
an enlarged Xander nipple and just put it right there in time for next. Oh my god, that is perfect! You should get a Xander nipple that covers the Chargers. I'll just get some brown paint. No, just put like a big picture of Xander up there. Tape it to the thing with his nipple. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that'll do it. For this episode Thank of you Survivor, the patrons, Jay, especially the Jack patrons that contribute Colleen. a certain level. And that would be Eckhart Rigner, Tack from Tokyo, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with a plan, and Ed the Creepy Mailman. Thank you guys so much. If you have any feedback, you can email us, SurvivorJJC at gmail.com. Send more emails than Shandy. That's all I got. And until next time, hasta luego. And goodbye. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye.